flexing, yeah. Cause I just checked my bank account and I'm good. I'm flexing, yeah. Cause my singles going off in my hood. I'm flexing, yeah. Everywhere I go, you know it's all love. I'm flexing. Yo, what's called cool, Crazy Nation? It's your boy S3 of the Crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Baby Monster. We're going to be reacting to Sheesh, Better Up, Like That, Forever. TMEA performance. Let's get it. Let's go. I love this. This intro. Every group needs an intro like this, in my opinion. Oh, that's cool. The M? Is it... Am I nuts that that doesn't look like the... Is it Baby Monster that has it? Or is it BTS that have those two things on it? Do you know what I'm talking about, Magic? That looks like a logo? You know what I'm talking about? That thing? Anyway. It reminds me of... Um, yeah, of that. Ah, so it is done on purpose. What's up, TMA? Let's get it. Holy shit, they're performing so live, you can hear the step. The mics are so on, you can hear the step while they're trying to stand up. Ooh. Oh, okay, Rami. You know, you know what's interesting? I like when Ra um Rami, when Ion does this part, like where she instead of doing it fully intense, at times she does. I sometimes like it when she's just chilling and she does this part. Like I know it doesn't have that same energy, but I sometimes I like it where she just it's more a bit kickback. But don't get me wrong, I like it when she obviously does it the energy way as well. But I feel like sometimes it's nice for her to switch it up. Not always, you know. Even when they pull it back, it has that impact. Yeah. Oh, Ah, here we go. You know what it is, Oh, she doesn't even do pedal to the metal anymore. She looks to the pedal. Oh. Ah, Honestly, I still think this is my favorite rap verse of K-pop, like of this year. I, I still back it. You know what it is. Fuck 
Fuck off, Rami! Scary, Majo. Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> I love the choreo. I love the choreo for this song. Sorry, I like I like Rora's part in the I'm not in the middle, but she's like in like the side of the middle here and it looks cold. The way that she anyway. That's cold. So she's adding runs to every song. Where, well, I don't remember her doing this vision. prefer this version so much more i like this version because it goes from ion to chiquita and i feel like the difference the differences between ion and chiquita's voices are so nice to listen to i don't know if you agree Majo, but when i listen to this i prefer it like that because the difference between their voices is like night and day and it just adds so much more attention to chiquita's part yeah, the contrast, yeah. Okay, Chiquita. Ruka's changed the way she's rap. She's rapping live, and I like it. She's becoming more passionate in her rapping, and like she's not passionate because she's always been passionate. Um, I feel like she's starting to rap stronger, very stronger now, and it works. They must be scary in person. <laughs> Oh. 
even that con even that contrast is really good, Major, between Harita and um and um oh my god and Chiquita. There's, what I like about uh, Baby Monster currently is that they have different performances for different songs. And what I love is, is that they don't bring the same stuff that they do in their concerts. Because then it takes away from their concerts, which is so important. Like, at the end of the day, you want to be good enough to make people come to the concert. But you're not going to waste, like what you do really well at the concert in these type of performances because then people won't come to the concert do you know what i mean by that magic like you gotta hold some stuff back where it's like by the way we do this way more in our own concerts like you know what i mean while in these it's like okay like they kind of like hold back a bit it's still it's still an amazing performance and all that but they it's like they kind of pull it back just a little bit. And I like that because it makes you go, oh, oh shit. If they're like this, what are they like at their own concerts? You know what I mean? And I feel like that's so important to have. To have a difference of like certain performances. So then people will come to see you. Oh, a tour is coming. A tour is coming for sure. If not this year, next year. I I reckon within the next two years there has to be a tour. Oh, let's go. What a transition here. The so way up and it closes and it closes. talk about magic do you catch what i'm what i'm saying how is it that she can sing so soft but still have so much power like she's pulling back and it still has that same effect that has in the in like this the cd version but to me it's better than the mp3 mp3 version which is crazy It's more, it sounds more airy. But I don't, I don't to wait, to wait to make, to make sure you never leave. Oh. Yeah. If I come close, baby, won't you wait back? If I get 
Oh my god, Ruka! Oh! It's like that, like that, how you want it right back? Bro, the power that just... I'm serious, Ruka's getting better. Ruka is getting so... Oh my god! Listening to Ruka's live performances now? Wow! Oh my word! It's like a robot. It's like that, like that, how you want my one of my friends is like, I'd like to report an assault. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's like that, like that. How you want your right back? Now you're on the right track. I've been thinking way too much on you to let it go. You've been running to my money, I'm gonna let it go. See nobody stepping up to me and saying nothing when I'm calling everybody. Nice, I'm sorry. I'm never talking, ever talking, but we're starting on and on and on and on. To the top, baby boy. Rami's a fucking tease, bro. Rami. <laughs> Rami. I hear Rami's ad libs. <laughs> and she's being cheeky on these ad libs. Let's go, yeah. Oh, sorry, that transition from Parita, oh my god, that transition, oh wow, that sounds amazing, back, 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 I didn't hear that again. Baby, would you like that? I Baby, would you like that? Baby, would you like that? Rami's hitting those ad libs. Fuck, oh, wow. <laughs> And okay, before everyone says, oh, you react to them all the time, you should know this. It doesn't mean that it's not amazing every time that I hear it. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's not amazing. To me, it's amazing just listening to this group every time. I never get bored of listening to their performances. Like I said, we do monthly reports on Baby Monster when it comes to live performances. Nice, I think that. Crazy.
I like how they always have the title behind them. Like when the song ends. I like that. I reckon that's very creative. Ooh, forever. I fucking love Rora. Rora, Rora's stage present. She's be she's becoming way like she's always been playful, but she's becoming more cheekier in her in her stage presence, and I love it. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I, I I can picture a lot of comments saying that she doesn't how do I say this? Saying that how do I say this? Because I don't want to say it in a wrong way. I can picture people saying in the comments that she didn't sing that right. But the only re that's fucking crazy. The fact that she could sing like that while moving, imagine. She's fucking walking. Sorry, that's crazy. I'm I'm amazed that she hit that. Cause I've I've watched a lot of performances, but I've never seen her moving away already while hitting that note. Have you imagine? Like normally it's her just standing there. I've never seen her hit that. She's she walked away and she still hits the note. Fuck bro. This group's scary. Like seriously. And like I said, this is only their first year. They're gonna keep on getting better. Fuck, it hasn't even been a year yet. What am I even talking about? Like, wow. Ruka, Ruka, Ruka has, I don't know what has happened, ooh, Ruka's up there now for me, Ruka's up there now for me, if she's going to be performing like this, ooh, shit, her, her rapping is more punchier now, way more uh, every word hits. You know what's funny? Her and Asa are becoming very similar, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing because it means that this dynamic duo is going to get even better. Even better. Her cadence has gotten better. As if they changed the camera angle on that part. The one part where you know Chiquita's about to dance to the rap. 
And that is the time that they decide to change the camera angle. Rah! They did Chiquita, they did Chiquita filthy. They did Chiquita filthy. Damn it. <laughs> You're a dickhead. <laughs> I'm learning about Ion. She's controlling her voice a lot more already, which is very interesting. I know what a lot of people are going to say. It's obviously because of the rude comments and stuff like that. I kind of like it that she's controlling her voice though, because, um, what was I about to say? Because, how do I say this? Um, I like that she's controlling her voice a bit more because sometimes I'll be honest, she do, she does peak, and like it, I, it to me it doesn't affect the song in any way. But I would rather hear her not peak because I like like I love Ion's voice, but it's interesting. You can see there's it's a different kind of control with her with her voice now. I feel like she's really growing as an artist and as a singer and that's so interesting to me it's 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 very interesting that is so hard to live get how Rora sings this part. I don't get how she sings like that while dancing. Yeah, she's controlling her voice way more. Oh. That's the best way I've heard Rami, uh, Rami. That's the best way I've heard Ion hit that note. Ever, forever, forever, ever, ever. Yeah, she's wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fucking hell. Damn, Vika? That was good. That was really good. That was really good. Far out. Ah, this group just keeps on getting better and better and better and better and better and better. <laughs> like, far out, bro. To me, they're one of the most interesting groups that I've listened to because it's only just the beginning and. I'm already so amazed by what they can do. And I'm just wondering what the hell are they going to be doing in the future? You know, it excites me. It excites me to see what this album is going to be like as well. You know, I'm intrigued. I want to see what they're going to do with this album. 
And yeah, man, that's all we got to say. Shout out to Baby Monster for keep on improving. Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna even say this. Like, even though I know a lot of people were talk have spoken about this Ion thing, I don't think I've ever spoken about it. Um, as much as I love Ion to sound raw, like like she she does. I don't. I just hope. That, because I know she gets a shit ton of criticism, like a lot of hate and all that. I just hope it doesn't, like, I, a lot of people will say, oh, it's getting to her, which I can agree. I can see that. I can see different parts of it, right? Like people going, oh, it's getting to her. That's why she keeps on changing the way she sings. Obviously, the dancing, the way that she's dancing more, it seems like she's dancing less and all that. But... I feel like, even though, like, I agree with a lot of people that are like, oh, the members should catch up, this, 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 and that, right? One part I don't agree with, agree on was the singing. And what I mean by this is, if you listen to Ion now, I feel like Ion sounds more complete than she did before. It may not have that rawness that she had to begin with, but... It still has that same power, but as well, it sounds ele elegant. Yeah, elegant at the same time. When she hits that high note, she stops instead of going all the way and peaking, which is beautiful. It's beautiful when she does that. And I actually really enjoy how she's able to take like all the bullshit that's been happening with her and kind of twist it to her way to make it better and for her to grow as an artist, as a singer. It's interesting. I'm very intrigued to see what's next for Baby Monster and where they're going to go from here because I feel like every time I'm listening to Baby Monster, especially a live performance, they keep on getting better. Like I said with Ruka, Ruka now matches the energy of Asa. Which is so nice to listen to. I don't get me wrong, I haven't listened to every performance. I haven't listened to every performance. But from the performances that I've heard, to me, this was Ruka's best. Because she had attitude and stuff where I was like, ooh, this is different. You know, and I like that. And having this control, you you still feel that power, even if it's not fully pushed. Exactly. And not only that, it's not going to hurt her chords, her vocal chords, which is important as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so I I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what's next for Baby One Star. I'm keen to hear this album when it drops. But yeah, man, that's all I've got to say. So if you want me to react to anything else, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. Not only that, comment if you want to see more. Subscribe and remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Ladies. Ah, uh, whoop.